Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your beginning of July reading for this current year. Yay. So we're going to see what is up with Yoli. Right? Right. Okay. Hope y'all are doing well. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to be doing a Thunderdome, but it's going to be a little bit different this time. This side's going to be you. This side's going to be the person. This is going to be if you all approach each other, right? Cross Rogers, same thing. So if you guys need to switch sides or whatever, you do that. But you sh but this side's definitely like the sign sign. So, But do whatever you want. It's really up to you. Okay, so. Let's see. We got death. So there's a Scorpio right there. Or you could be like transforming, changing your ways. Virgo, in order to find a way of syncing with yourself, really getting in touch with yourself. Doing that whole one dance that the people do with all the arms. I can't remember what it's called. Um, there might be a tentative offer you might be trying to give birth to. Or trying to start to offer something in the present. Because some sort of wish fulfillment came and now like... You know, you don't get drunk off the liquor anymore. It just tastes like really fruity pebbles. Like it's not as intoxicating as it used to be. So yeah, you want a new adventure. Look at you, taking that action. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, because like... You're coming clear from illusions, and now you're definitely looking at your options on how to go about this. Your head's nice and clear. So that's pretty rad. How about this person you're dealing with? What are they up to, Virgo? They're definitely wanting to come forward with an offer to you. I feel like because like a third party situation died off. They stopped giving to this like brunette Betty. They're not they're not giving to black Betty anymore. They want to give to red Betty. Um, they're still kind of looking over what snakes are in their yard though. And I feel like they really don't want to, like, decide something entirely yet because it's too much on their heart. Or they're protecting their heart so much that, they, that they're that they kind of stuck without making a decision. Which is left them feeling pretty turbulent. Now, we got the King of Swords right here. They might be coming off honest, blunt, a little bit crass. But that's because he's ready for battle, but he's got a steady, I've already killed millions before, you're not going to do much to me. Like, very, very uh, skilled in action and words. We'll make you cry before, like, he has the guards take you to your death. It's like over here. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, this person's calling out a bad judgment call. A bad judgment call, some sort of dream. Right? Alright, so Virgo, what's coming up next for you? I feel like you are just taking this brand new start because, like, whatever illusions or secrets that are coming out could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, mind you. Um, I feel like. After all this stuff starts to unravel, that's when you'll be able to start making your choices. While this person isn't able to make choices as easily because they've attached themselves too much to it. Let's see. Yeah, you're not opening, offering your cup to them, like, but you are definitely looking at them like, mm, should I take action or shouldn't I? Like, it's like you don't want to offer your love, but you're still curious. Because, you know... You gotta, you're definitely looking at this like, mm, do I really want to sacrifice this right here? Because like, if I choose this, it might make me unhappy. Hmm, not the world here. You're trying to bring something together. Something from the past and something from the future in order to bring it present to start something new. I mean, you're definitely on the verge of like taking action if you're not already to start something new with the Ace of Wands. Hmm. 
I'm definitely just trying to complete the cycle in order to start there. Though. I'm still kind of wanting to go back to the past, though. We're just connection with severed, but you're just causing yourself a little bit more anguish when you do that. It's just kind of like, uh, just take the leap of faith, you know? Like, you're torturing yourself thinking over this a lot, you know? Now, what's this person doing? this person up to? Um, well, they're pretty metal, but they're turning away from all this, being like, you know what, I have hard feelings about this, but I'm just gonna go away. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn my back to this, because I, I make a really ugly face. Yeah, it, um, it, this connection turned very sour. Like, it's all fun and games where everyone was intoxicated, but now that everybody's sober, it's just kind of like, you know what, I don't know why I ever dealt with you. It's like they just got married, you know? And this person's coming out all raggedy from their sort of, like, depressing journey. Like, looking back at you, like, I went through a lot of shit. feeling like there was nobody really to fight. They were just doing all this stuff on their own. Like, it was their choices that put them there. And they'll be kind of open about it, I feel like, too. Like, I think they'll definitely express how they're feeling about the situation. And I feel, yeah, and it's like, you know, I just need to recover from all of this. You know, um, I feel like a stranger in my own home almost vibration. you're both agreeing to like just keep disagreeing okay what happens if you guys approach each other all right well you're sitting there looking like a queen a little immature though because like she is a younger queen so you know Her clothes are a little bit big on her. She has a kitty cat, which, you know, you can have a kitty cat at any age, but it's definitely a young kitty. Just like she is. And she has a flower in her hand and it makes her look all cute. Um, I almost wonder if they forgot to color that because that's all gray. It's like, whatever. Um, this might be sitting there looking like, you know, like, you know, you're wasting time. Like this person's acting like a martyr. And they're just dragging their feet along. This is what you're noticing. Because they're pretty insecure about things. But their insecurities also lead to a tower moment where it's just like, you know, like, you know, I'm taking everybody and we're going bye bye. So bye bye. Because you want to begin something new. And, and they're looking at it like, you know, like, mm. like, you're childish. You're unfair. They're coming out with like this almost really aggressive woman scorn thing. Like, they're acting like. Everything's your fault, and that's probably why you're in that Nine of Swords. Like, you're trying to make you feel bad. For you noticing that, like, there's something up with them. Which is like, eh. Yeah, you just want the pettiness to end. You're done with the fighting and the arguments and all that. You'd rather be by yourself, because <laughs> at least you at least have money. Like you just want to be on your own. You're chill with being on your own. It's never been a problem. And I feel like this person is just taking it the wrong way, just a little bit, just enough to just be like, mm, it's not a healthy attitude.
I'm also like a little bit of jealousy, but it's like, you know, not jealousy to a point where they're, like, they might come off a little nasty to you, especially with the Queen of Swords. They might try to put you in this, but it's like, that's the entire reason why you're trying to get away from them in the first place, I feel like. So, yeah. That's your reading, Virgo. Um, thank you for watching the video. If you want a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. I do not charge, but I do take tips and donations. Uh, you guys have a good day. Like, share, and subscribe if you want, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.